What is going on guys, The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today we are doing something a little bit different today. So today, we have a whole car thing going on here today. So, right now we have a Volkswagen GTI Golf. This car is a little bit customized, and when you guys, uh, when I started up and I hear, uh, you, you guys will see what I'm talking about, but... It has big caliper brakes, um, like Brembo's, basically all the way around this thing. And it has a wide body kit. See it? It's a wide body, um, custom exhaust. And I think it's tuned. Um, this car has all the nine yards and all the all the gadgets and stuff. So I'm going to start it up and let you guys hear this one. It's, uh... Pretty cool, right? So it does have a a uh, a burble tune, so it's tuned to burble and backfire. Got to be careful though on these uh, on these heels. But we're gonna open it up. We're gonna get on the highway. Uh, it's so hard to get this car to get traction. All right, here we go. We give me a uh, turbocharger is overheating. That wheel is crying, it's screaming. We're pushing out so much boost. All right, come on, Volkswagen. Oh my God, what the heck just happened? Oh my Lord of Jesus. I don't know what just happened. Oh my God, oh my God, what the heck? What just happened? Like, well, that's the end of the Volkswagen. I don't know what the heck did I hit. There was nothing on the road, unless the turbo just went out and just sent me flying. Cause look, look, look at here. Do you guys see anything over here that I can hit to go airborne? There's literally nothing. See, unless we're talking about this right here. This is literally the only thing that I could have hit, which is this little bump right here. I'm pretty sure that's what I hit too. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I hit. If if you're not paying attention, look at that. You, you won't see it. Boom. Especially if you're going 140 miles an hour, you won't see these little bitty dips. See it? So imagine hitting that at 140. Oh my God, what the heck? Uh, better yet, imagine hitting this at 140 miles an hour. Oh my God, going that fast on this road. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to try to go back to that gas station. I'm going to see if I can find a way to drive that Lamborghini. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I don't see nobody around. So, I'm just going to see if the door is open. So, door is open. See if we can get this thing. Keys around here somewhere. And we're going to try to fire it up. Okay. Doesn't sound like your average uh, normal Lamborghini. That's for sure. Here's the interior of the Lamborghini. Oh, Lordy. But I got a challenge for you still, or I should say, not my. I have a challenge, and I I got a plan to do something. And I've no nobody has ever done this before. Be the first one to ever do it. So what we're gonna do is uh, first things first, 
let's just test out the uh, Lamborghini's uh, capabilities real quick. If it can't pass this, op if it cannot pass this, or if it cannot do this, then it cannot go on with our second challenge. So we got some heel jump. That was a very hard hit. Jesus. I don't know what. That did not feel good at all. So, let's see. All right. Let's see if we can do some laps real quick. In the Lamborghini. In the Lamborghini. Let's see if we can get some jumps in. Or no, not jumps. We're not jumping. No, no, no. Let's see if we can get a lap in. It's a drift. Kinda. This car is all-wheel drive, so it does help out a lot. A lot of good speed here. That is something that uh, I will pay to see. Some uh, Lamborghinis dirt track racing. That that should be a sport. That should literally be a sport. Get some good drivers that can actually drive. <laughs> that would be cool. Anyway, let's see. Oh, God, hang on to it. <laughs> all right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all here. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this trailer. We're going to pick up this. And it's like I said, you remember I said, I know no one's did this before. The car is all-wheel drive, so I don't see why not. So, but this is not the only thing that we're doing. We're gonna see, can the Lamborghini tow? The first ever Lamborghini to tow. Wait for it, I'm gonna show you in a minute. The first ever Lamborghini to tow a Chevy Chevelle. All right, so. Gonna take this, we're gonna load it. That tire is just. <laughs> that tire, though. Well, we know it got torque. <laughs> it got the torque, that's for sure. Alright, so. This is what we have. We have this Lamborghini hauling this Chevelle, which the Chevelle shifted forward. So not messing with it. But anyway, we got this Chevy Chevelle and we got this Lamborghini. So we're gonna We're gonna see what the Lamborghini have. <laughs> not bad actually honestly <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's actually towing a little bit better than most fit uh, 2500s <laughs> oh god alright we are back on our way Not bad, actually. You know, it is actually capable of towing. Um, heck, it should be for how much power it has, but let's see. Um, honestly, I think you make a right, and it takes you back to the highway. And it even gets up to speed. Like, hold on, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You just got to worry about that, because the trailer is bigger than the car, so. All right, here we go. But yeah, you can actually get up to speed in this car. Don't hit the brakes. Don't hit the brakes. Don't hit the brakes. Gas. Okay. But yeah, anyway. 
you just got to be careful though about that but like i say is that this car you can actually um get up to speed and everything and it it, it literally pulls better than most 1500 pickup trucks um you just be careful just be careful of this that's all you got to worry about literally that's that's all you have to worry about but <laughs> it's not that bad in towing but okay it could tow a car perfectly what happens if you have a lamborghini and you got to go to home depot and pick up supplies and you only have your trailer don't worry i got you i'm about to test this out right now all right so we're about to get loaded so we're just gonna back this trailer up and we're gonna get this trailer loaded here real quick we got a whole bunch of supplies that should do all right drop her down perfect all right drop her down boys perfect eh it might do all right we, we're good to go here so here we go we just left home depot we got our load and our lamborghini is underway all right our clutch is already starting to burn up well that's not good we're not even close to the house Well, I don't know what's happening, but I think our our trailer wheel is locked up. <laughs> oh, uh, that 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 could be that that literally could be. So let's see if we could ingest this load real quick. This one here is slid way forward. I don't know why that happened, but. It was not supposed to slide like that. All right, how about that? Is that better? All right, let's take the parking brake off and let's see. Our clutch is uh, our clutch is gone. Yeah, our clutch is gone. So. Well, the Lamborghini didn't make it far at all. The Lamborghini, literally, <laughs> and we're not, we're not, we're definitely not getting up this hill. <laughs> so yeah. Well, the Lamborghini's destroyed. I'm gonna see if I can find something else I can actually pull this. Uh, let's see if we can find something. I might see if I can. Yeah, let's see if I can find something around here. Well, I couldn't find anything, so we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick trip on this, uh, with this Viper ACR. This is a pretty cool car, though. Like, so serious. Big wing car. Love the interior, though, in this. In the Viper. It's very nice. A lot of splitters, you know, a lot of spoilers and diffusers all around this car. Already off road. <laughs> strong uh, splitters up front, though. But yeah, that strong splitters. I, like that was a pretty big hit, and uh, they did not break at all. Impressive, impressive actually. They're not cheap. Literally, they should, these are not cheap on these cars. Especially now, since they like they um, since Dodge uh, discontinued the Vipers, they're super expensive now. 
Super expensive. If you got them, keep them. Oh my god. And don't do what I just did. Uh, well, look at this. Got a broke down Lamborghini. Um, I'm pretty sure the Lamborghini just, um, the head gasket just went out on it. So, uh, she's extremely not drivable now. If it was, it's not now. Especially the clutch also went out on it. So, we're going to try to pull the Lamborghini with this Durango. Um, you, you guys got to remember that this is a lot of weight here. And I don't want to attach it to, like, a gas tank or something. There's... These new cars got nothing but plastic, man. They're all plastic crap. Um, let's see. You just find something, really, in this situation, but... I'm gonna have to zoom out just to get attachments. I don't know. That's just a bumper. You're gonna just rip the dang thing off of it. Oh, well. Rip it off, then. Rip it off. It has to have strength, though, because if it doesn't, it's not going to work. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Lamborghini ain't budging. Lambo ain't budging. So, I'm already, I'm going to put this truck into low, and I'm going to lock the differentials. And then we're going to run a line, and hopefully it pulls it. If not, we're just going to hook it up to the dang truck and uh, pull it. You guys hear the Lamborghini knocking? It's knocking. Um, I told you, that engine went out on it. So let's... We're just going to hook up. We might snatch this bumper off. Chances are we're probably going to snatch this bumper off. But... It just super glued itself. Now did it? Yes, it did. It is super glued. Come on. Well, there goes the bumper. Well, I told you that was gonna happen. See, we got some. Anything else that we can hook up to with this car? We already done to snatch the bumper off the car. So it doesn't have much left to lose. Especially now since it needs a new engine. It really got nothing else to lose. Alright, let's get it! Come on now. It's cars. I can't move it. Come on. Stupid bumper now got me. It's wedged up between the truck. Oh my god. It's literally wedged underneath the truck. That's what really got me right now. Is a stupid bumper. Can we tow it now? There we go. We're moving now. It's a heavy. She is definitely heavy. But the Cummins is for the win here. Go and rescue the Lamborghini in its trailer with a load of planks.
Well, the compass is now done. Uh, let's see if we can get something out. We need something bigger. All right. We're here for this ram. This is gonna be one big pool, that's for sure. Okay. It's a big pool. Big Bertha should be able to handle this. Hopefully, anyway. It's a lot to ask for, though. A lot of weight, too, back there. A lot of weight. Hopefully, we can get a budge. Nope. <laughs> Uh, not like that. Oh my god, we just ripped the front. <laughs> We're ripping the front axles off the truck. <laughs> Oh god, this is such a heavy pull. Come on! Oh my god, we just ripped the whole rear, the whole front end off the truck. Oh well, at this point in time, let's just keep sending it. Come on! Well, talk about a triple wrap, eh? There you go. Whole mess now. <laughs> That's a whole mess now. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.